Hi lovelies, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and this is your reading for Sunday the 13th of October. Can you believe that we're nearly halfway through October? Just a couple of weeks left and we've got Samhain and for those of you who don't know what that is, that's Halloween. Um, and... Uh, yeah, which is honouring our ancestors and then having a party for New Year, which is the 1st of November for us. And yes, you're right, we have two New Years because you have a different one to us and we celebrate that as well. Ah, because we're like that. Okay, let's ask the Archangels if they have got something. I'm going to put that lot back and take that one. Okay, and then we're going to ask the angels and ancestors if they would like to give us some wisdom and knowledge for Sunday the 13th. Of October. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so for Sunday we have... The Ten of Athames. And you know, every time I look at this card, I see something different. And I'm now seeing things within those shadows at the back that I've never seen before. So, a ten is always about um, the coming about, the ending of something, the, the reaching of an end. And then you go back to a one, which is a beginning. So... With the Ten of Athames, it's for me, it's messages coming in, it is protecting yourself, it is grounding yourself, it is ensuring that um, you are able to use everything that's at your disposal for your higher good. And if you look at the card, you have got earth, air, fire and water. And there are things in those shadows, but they're really not bothering her because she's not worried about it. And those athames are stuck in the ground in a circle, which is her protection. And those wild boar are being kept at bay. Or are they being kept at bay? Are they being brought forward for the pot? Sorry for the vegetarians that are out there. Okay. So this 10 for me at the moment, I'm kind of thinking that Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you're putting into that pot at the moment, it is at a perfect temperature, it has been perfectly cooked, it is drawing towards you some power, it is drawing towards you energy, um, and you are able to take that and not just receive messages, but give messages also to other people. Um, it's also, a famous, I believe, our air and um, we're in the air season aren't we so yeah I'm kind of getting your intuition is really high um, and that you are able to put that to really good use and that you've you've attained something that you've been reaching out for for a long time and you've got the King of Michael which says principle rationale ambition and respected and it says wisdom and objectivity are important now stay within your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication and what was we just saying about intuition and receiving messages and giving messages and yes yeah, standing in your truth sunday the 13th of october stand in your truth you know your truth. Like I said, this pot is at the optimum. It's at the perfect temperature. You're using all the elements. You are protecting yourself. You are grounding. The shadows aren't bothering you because you are receiving the messages that you should receive. But you are also able to pass those messages through and on to those who need to hear them. 
So then we have the Star Ancestor and it says, follow the voice of your soul. Oh goodness, okay. I think that this is for a particular set of people um, that have been practicing and receiving messages and passing messages on and they are confident, they are successful, they are honest and true, not just to themselves but to other people and they bring a lot of comfort um, to people. And this ancestor is telling you follow the voice of your soul so if this is telling you this this pathway is right for you um, and this is where you've got to in your life and it's what you've wanted and you've listened to yourself already this is the message that you need to be passing on to other people love this have a great sunday i will catch up with you again tomorrow blessed be for now see you soon Bye.